Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. This is Rich Bendixson with Dashboard Gear, and today we're going to be talking about how to embed JavaScript in an SSRS report. Now, it's a topic that um, can be quite handy when you get stuck on how to accomplish a particular navigation or UI task inside SQL reporting services, and it just doesn't feel like there's an option there for you, or if you need to create kind of a custom visual or a fact or something like that. Uh, you can use JavaScript to do a lot of different things. Now, with all things SSRS, there's many ways to do it. So I'm just going to show you one of the ways that I typically do it. I usually don't have to go too deep into real advanced visuals and things like that, but I sometimes need to integrate some web pieces, and that's where I use uh, this technique. So I'm going to hop on over to my other screen. And um, in past sessions, you may have seen this report where we did a hierarchical or a grouping report where I have uh, account units by company. Some people call them cost centers or departments or whatever you want to call them. But basically, it's just a simple report. And that's not even important for today's topic per se. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start embedding some different things in here uh, using JavaScript just to see some different effects. Now, I'm going to show some real basic and probably non-realistic examples of what you would do. But what you'll want to do is apply the technique using you know, what you know about JavaScript. I'm not a, a world's foremost expert on JavaScript. Uh, I know enough to be dangerous, but I'll, I'll give you some of those tips to, to get you going. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, Report Builder. Uh, the tool that we use to author these reports. And here's that same report in Report Builder. Now, the reason I have Report Builder open here and then the um, report up over here is when you do JavaScript, you can embed it using Report Builder in the report. But unfortunately, you can't test it there. You have to test it in the report itself. So what I end up doing is um, putting the JavaScript code in in Report Builder, saving it, and then just refreshing the report on the other side to see the effect. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to create a placeholder inside this text box. And this is going to do an expression. Now, there's a few key things to this. The first thing is what we're going to want to do is embed our JavaScript in this value field. And I'm just going to embed just a very simple um, click uh, kind of event in here. So if I do paste in here some code that I already pre-typed so you'd, I saved you from uh, having to, to see that and if I come over here. Basically, what this expression is doing is it's a string that's evaluating to my JavaScript. And what I did was I inserted some HTML, actually, that was a hyperlink. So if you're familiar with HTML, the A tag for a, for a hyperlink or an anchor tag. Uh, the reference is what you're calling. Now, typically, this could be a URL. But in our case, we're going to say JavaScript colon alert. Now, the key thing in this is because this is a string on the outside, they're wrapped in double quotes. There also needs to be double quotes in here. But I need to put two of them so it knows to evaluate to a single uh, double quote around this. So it's doing JavaScript. And then this is just going to do a simple alert, display something. So I'm going to say OK. So the first thing you notice is it puts it, you put that in the value. Then the second key thing is down here, this text box or this uh, radio button says HTML, interpret HTML tags as styles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click that. Now when I say OK, I'm going to save this because as I mentioned, I really can't test it here. It won't do anything. So I saved it in the report. If I come back to my report and I refresh this. If I look underneath here, hopefully I'll see a tag. Here's my tag where I had put click on there. Now, when I click this, it, you notice up here it puts a, uh, a little alert box, display something. So it's just calling a simple JavaScript alert. So I basically, I put an anchor tag with JavaScript and then put whatever JavaScript I want after that. So this wasn't a very, you know, useful thing, although you can do things like, um, alerts and confirm. So if you want to, you know, make sure that people are seeing things or are help text where you want to do a simple thing, you can do it that way. Now, if you want to get a little more advanced on what that JavaScript does, I'll give you some other examples just so you can uh, see the concept. And now this is going to be, um, 
this is going to be a little more realistic. But if I do expression on that expression field, I'm going to replace that expression I had there with a different one. Now you'll notice it's still that same anchor tag. I did JavaScript, but instead of an alert, I said window open. And then I'm saying open to Google uh, with a search. And then Google's syntax to pass a search is Q equals. So, and then what I'm passing it is a field from my report, which is the description next to it. And then I'm just making the text of the tag say search. So I'll just say, okay, on that and I'll do save. So now if I come back here uh, to my report and we refresh this, instead of click, it should say search. And now whatever I search on, maybe I wanna search on MRI. If I click search, it opens a new window where it did a Google search of MRI. So I basically just did a new window of that. Now, just like all HTML tags and open window and so forth, you can you know pass other values. So if I take that same item I just did, um, we'll go back here and modify the expression. I'll show you two more examples, basically doing the same thing, just adding more things. So what this did was that same window open of the Google search, but instead I gave the window uh, a name and then I gave it a width. What this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna, instead of putting it on a new tab, which most of the modern browsers are now doing, uh, by giving it a window name, it's gonna pop up to a new window. And then I'm setting the width and the height so I can style it as such. So I'll say, okay, and I'll say save, come back here to my report, refresh. So that same concept now on the search, search on CAT scan, it did a little pop-up window, I should have made the width and the height bigger, but there again, it searched on CAD scan and popped up the window. Now, this is calling another URL to do that with window open, but you don't have to. Those of you that are familiar with the DOM object in uh, JavaScript, you can you know, cr get as creative as you want or write as much JavaScript code as you want in there. So if I go ahead on this expression and I modify that and I'll paste in here my next example, and what this one does is it's going to do the window open, but instead of calling a specific URL, I just did an empty string, gave it a same window name, did that same height, which, you know, maybe I'll make this a little bigger this time. I'm going to do uh, 600 by 300. So it's a little bigger. Um, and then what it's doing is it's using that window variable that we just created, and it's doing a document.write. And it's writing a paragraph. This is message window. I am, um, well, it's not going to be the right number until I change it here. 600 by 300 tall. Whatever text you want. So it's just it's just uh, uh, giving you the example of a document dot write uh, statement. So if I say OK and do save and then come back and do refresh. When I look at that now and do that same search on MRI, but instead of a search, it's doing a document outright and just basically creating a custom window right in there. So where I use uh, this the last and kind of a real world example, I've done the search, I've done Google Maps or Bing Maps if you're a Microsoft person or whatever you want to use that way. Uh, the other uh, context I use this in was a uh, financial statement, budget to actual, um, where variances over certain amounts, they had to explain their variance. So we just had a custom screen that next to the report, when it was over a certain amount, there was a little link, they click that and it opened up a little screen where they had to explain why there was a variance. So it captured that. So it's just a way of kind of embedding in any custom HTML and JavaScript inside the SSRS report. Hopefully you found today's uh, session uh, helpful because that's um, something you, you probably won't have to use real often, but uh, when you do, it's a very helpful uh, technique. And um, feel free to, to suggestions at dashboard, info at dashboardgear.com. Uh, and we'd be happy to give you uh, some other tips and techniques. Next week, I'm not gonna be doing a uh, tip of the week on Friday, but we'll be back in a couple weeks um, for another tip. And until then, happy reporting.